What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. So guys, today we have a few special events, okay? So we have the guaranteed event for Nikmo Thar. I think that's how you say his name. I don't really know. But we also have something pretty interesting. So we have the uh, 10X event going on for Siffy and Rotos for the friendship event. And something pretty interesting is actually going on as well. Tomorrow is mine and wife Raku's anniversary. How long have we been married? Do you know how long we've been married? Well, of course I know how long we've been married. You asked me the other day when our anniversary day is. Okay, so we've been married for six years. Six years of marriage. I think it's pretty good. So what that means, basically, and all in all, is that today I will be pulling my most wanted champion, which is Rodos. She's guaranteed that we pull him. She said, if not, we're going to buy all the shards possible and take out some massive credit card debt if needs to be, right? Okay, no. maybe not, but all right, let's go ahead and do this today. I'll let you pull last video. Last sharp pull video, I didn't let her use the mi the mouse by uh, accident. I got too excited thinking I was going to get some good stuff, but what we want to see here is not that. That's a rat. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so what we want to see here is we want to see some gold pop up. When the gold pops up, it's kind of like a green background. That's going to be an undead faction, and then Rodos the Lost Groom is going to walk out, and my two Siffies will have their match, which is going to be incredible. So just keep pulling them. Okay. I'll, I'll pause if we need to. Okay. All right. So we this is Jason um, from the movie. Don't really need him. Okay. Uh, so I'm fresh in mercy. Like I literally just pulled a legendary, okay. like my recent one. This guy is a great champion. Don't really need him. He does bring a lot for a lot of people, though. I want to click his skills real quick. So decrease attack, A1, very good for clan boss. Um, provoke on all enemies, AOE. 50% uh, chance, and then a very nice shield, as well as placing poisons when attacked. Occurs once per hit. So, do you not have him? No, I, I do have him. No. The the one epic that I'm looking for is Geomancer. It's a little dwarf dude. If he pops out, I'm going to be super excited. This guy, don't really need him. He's kind of useless. Does, <laughs> not, nobody really uses him. He looks cool. He does kind look of, cool. But, uh, so, Geomancer is a champion who I would love, love to have. Because I have two of them already, but I really need six of them. Okay, you can continue. Yeah. That's a that champion deathless has kind of been power crept. Um, there's no way kind of next thing. Luthia, nothing really super special to say about her, I don't think. Um, you can keep going. Okay. But I'm hoping to get a Lego on the way. Fifteen shards and no legendaries kinda kinda feel bad. Nazana has a few nice uses. She's getting a little bit more popular. So she has an A1 that just attacks all enemies. Pretty simple. Places fifty percent ally protection buff on all allies for two turns, places a shield buff on this champion for two turns. The value of the shield is equal to 40% of this champion's max HP and attacks all enemies, 50% chance of placing 50% decrease attack for two turns. So an AOE decrease attack that books up to 60, 75%. That's pretty good on a three turn cooldown. So definitely a decent champion for Demon Spawn Faction if you're struggling with Faction Wars there. So continuing down the road, we should be ending with three Sacreds. I may pull them all, or she may pull them all. So then if we get bad luck, we just blame it on. No. Her. That's why uh, I like when you pull. Yeah, Taurus is a good champion, good for poison explosion stuff. You can keep going, though. Okay. We need Geomancer or some gold. Give me some gold. Ugh. I did see a clanmate. This guy actually got buffed recently, but still, don't think we're going to use him. So I'm, I'm definitely not going to be using him right now. But a clanmate of mine pulled, I think, four or five extra legendaries going to, going to uh, Nikmo and still didn't get Rotos. So 10x chance. He pulled five legendaries. None of them were Rotos, unfortunately. You can keep going. Juliana, she's kind of been power crept. Not so great anymore either. Man, this is brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. This is why I enjoy pulling during guaranteed events so much more. All right, you can... Uh, she's, she's a really good dwarf, but I don't really need her. She's good, great for faction wars. Good res. Or having a res in general is very nice. All right, so... Quargon, let me see. Qui-Gon. All right, so we have... Three more sacreds to pull. Go ahead and click that. I, I don't. Want, I don't want to click it if it's a legendary. Click it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We need the Rotos. It's our anniversary, so it well, has it has to be together? Rotos. Nah, you just do it by, by yourself. So no, then, you so then it. you so get blamed. <laughs> All right, let me do it. I, I just did my first click. Okay, guys. So if we pull a legendary here, okay, we've got nothing. We got Caden, really good Dark Elf champion for faction wars, especially. Um, this should be the last one until Nikmo, I do believe. Let's see. Okay, no, actually, he should be popping out in this one. So. Let's see if we get a legendary here. Oh, we got a legendary. Yeah, okay. Well, this dude is amazing. Speaking of, guys, if you want to stop by my stream today, later on, I will be doing a full breakdown of Nikmo, full testing, everything. I should have a video up for him tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and pull these last three shards, 
because there's really well, no reason not to. Well, I mean, there's there's gonna be hopefully another legendary, but because right now we are, um, right now we are 15 shards without a legendary. So I really want a Rodos. I'll pull them all, all 18. Oh, here we go. Ah, not Rodos though. Another Ray. Oh my gosh. I don't want this champion. I got five of her. I got four. I got a plus one already. A plus four already. What am I gonna do with her? <laughs> she's she's awesome. But I don't need her. But what 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 but 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 okay, still kind of useless. Plus four and plus one. Wow. How do I have five, six rays? Six rays. So it takes four to empower the one. So I got a plus four. So you have the four extra copies into that one. So that's five okay. in that one champion. And that extra one is six. So I could have basically filled my faction guardians up fully with just Ray. But I mean, we're so deep in now. Might as well pull this last sacred shard. Let's okay. see. Let's see what we get. Now, Ray is an awesome champion. She hits extremely hard. Oh, oh, oh. It's Rotos. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. That is who I was hoping for. Wow. Two. That is an. Whoa, the kids are getting crazy in the background. All right. Rodos, the lost groom, has come home. Yes, finally, 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 finally. All right, well, whew, that shard pull was almost pretty rough, not going to lie. Ending with absolutely nothing, but man, we got we got back to back to back legendaries right there at the end. So on our anniversary, six years, we finally pulled Rotos the Lost Groom. So Siffy, your man has come home. Here we go. We have two Siffies, and I can finally use my second one because, guys, I got to say, to be honest, that one Siffy that I have with a speed boot icon beside her, she's my speed Siffy, okay? I don't really have her super fast. I use her with my defensive team. I don't really try to win many speed races in the arena. But now, Siffy number two can be hearted, and then Rotos can be hearted as well. So I know, hey, these two champions can run together. So absolutely incredible. Guys, this is this was my number one most wanted champion. My number, well, other than Hegemon. Hegemon's my number one most wanted Void Legendary Champion, but three legendaries. We have Nikmo, we have Ray, and we have Rodos the Lost Groom. Guys, I can't tell you how excited I am. Oh, that's awesome. So I may actually try to start pushing plat because for a long time, didn't really have a whole lot of motivation. But now I have a motivation to build a champion, get him decked out, and actually try to start pushing plat. Let me see if I have any stuff for him. So with Rodos, you really want to have, I believe, flat HP with attack percentage substats, I believe is what it is. I believe that's what scales best for him. And I think, yeah, I, oh, I know this has a lot of HP on it. I want something with flat HP and a lot of attack substats. So I believe I have, I thought I had something in here like that. I could just be wrong though. Um, so flat HP with triple HP percentage, flat HP with triple HP percentage, flat HP with double attack, that's not too bad. Um, flat HP, okay, we got double attack percentage there as well. I could have swore I had a ring that was a lot better, but apparently I don't. But either way, guys, wow, that is exciting. That is absolutely exciting. So there we go. Fifth, 18 shards, more than worth it. Wow. So now what do I have to look forward to? I'm definitely glad we got something more impressive than the, uh, the ray. It's so weird. Like the odds for things seem to increase significantly once you pull that champion. Like I don't understand how... I have, I'm missing so many legendaries because I'm missing quite a few still. Not a like crazy significant amount, but definitely a decent amount. And somehow I've managed to pull six rays. I mean, you can literally look at my fact, my empower champions. Okay, scroll through here. There's not a lot of champions who are very close to getting plus even three. I think I have maybe one champion I can take a plus three. And that's Helior. One, two, three. Yeah. Everybody else plus one, maybe plus two with my scar torsus. Um, yeah, I have nobody who I can even. One person I can plus three. Everybody else maybe to plus two. Mostly just plus one, if that. And somehow I have a plus four Ray with a dupe. With another one to go alongside her. Which is so incredibly weird. I feel like the odds of that should be significantly lower. But guys, we're 11 minutes in this video. That was a super, super exciting sharp pull session. Especially right there at the end. Sorry for the explosion of the kids in the background. But thank you all very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Leave a like down below. Get this video spread out. Because now... I have to move my most wanted champion around. I will definitely be building Rodos very, very soon. Not going to book him during this CVC. I, or not, there's no CVC right now. That's why I'm not going to book him. I will be booking him very soon, though, probably during CVC. I will likely be booking 
Nikmo, though, because he is going to be used. I want to give you guys a heads up in case you want to actually go for this champion. I want to give you guys a heads up on where he can be used. So I probably will be booking him. Rodos, I don't know. He, he requires 5, um, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 books. That's, that's quite a bit of books to be using outside CVC, especially if I do Nikmo's books as well. So guys, with that said, thank you all very much for watching the video. I hope you all enjoyed. Hope your shard pulls went well. Also, I hope that you actually pulled the champion you were going for. I have to say it was more than worth it for me. Um, 22 void shards. I don't really want another Siffy, to be honest. I don't really want another Siffy because now I got a, a match for Rodos. I have the regular Siffy. Don't really want to risk it. Siffy's nice, but I don't really need a third copy. My shard tracker, so we're fresh, but we're 156 void. So I'm getting pretty close in the void mercy system. But guys, we've gone on long enough. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next video.